And Bacchus was the god of wine, agriculture, fertility, and the theater. Probably fertility and wine because once you drink so much wine, you're down to fuck, you know? Unless you get wine dick. What's wine dick? I think I mean, it's I like whiskey deduce. dick, except it takes like three times as much wine. <laughs> <laughs> On this episode of Are You Smarter Than a Drunk Person? Can this South Dakota native... Shit. Shit is not one of the that answers. Take on the man with the highest IQ in America. He's taking I'm, his clothes off. For... It's time to find out. Hi guys, I'm Allison Becker and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Drunk Person? Which is streaming five o'clock somewhere. This is the game where we pair a normal smart person with a real genius who just happens to be a little bit tipsy. Let's meet our contestants. Please welcome Evan Henderson. How are you, Evan? Good, how are you? I'm good. So you hail from South Dakota, is that correct? Yes. Tell me about South Dakota. I know nothing about it. Uh, a lot of people don't know anything about it, <laughs> Educate honestly. Educate us. Yeah, it's, um, it's the home of Mount Rushmore. Okay. Uh, it's a beautiful area. Sorry, I fell asleep for a second. Tell yeah, me more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, thank you for playing. Let's meet our genius, Rick Rosner, the man with the highest IQ in America. Welcome, Rick. Hey. have the highest IQ in America. What's the dumbest thing you've ever done, Rick? I spent 25 years bouncing bars. Wow, what was that like? You know, I mostly checked IDs every once in a while. Somebody would punch me in the head, and then I'd be happy that they didn't wreck my contacts, because back when I was getting punched the most, contacts were like 65 bucks a piece. Oh, uh, we learn every day here on Are You Smarter Than a Drunk Person? So let's play our first round. I'm going to explain the rules to you, which are very simple. Most of the questions are multiple choice. If you know the answer before I read the options, you may buzz in. If you buzz in and answer incorrectly, then the other person will hear all of the options and get to answer again. So let's play round one of Are You Smarter Than a Drunk Person? <laughs> Question number one. Dihydrogen monoxide is a fancy, yes, Rick. Water. You are correct, it is water. Oh, yeah, he's taking I'm, his clothes off. Floor. He's <laughs> taking his clothes off. Don't worry, they're not all that hard. Have you drank any dihydrogen monoxide today? Yes. Okay, good, because I want you to stay hydrated. Question number two. Which of the famous Savage Brothers starred in the 90s sitcom Boy Meets World? A, yes, Rick. I'm wrong, but it's, well, it's not Fred, but I have to say Fred, because that's the only freaking except for Randy Macho Man. <laughs> you are incorrect. It was one of the options, but is not the correct option. So now, Evan, you will hear all of the possible answers. Let's hear them. A, Ben Savage, B, Dan Savage, C, Fred Savage, or D, Michael Savage? Shit. Shit is not one of the that answers. A... You said Ben. I said Fred. You said Fred. Yes, Evan. Ben? Ben is yeah, correct. Ben. <laughs> Clearly knew that and not at all a guess. All right, we have ones. Rick has one point and Evan has one point. Question number three. A traditional screwdriver cocktail combines vodka with what other yes, Rick? Orange juice. You are correct, OJ. You know, if you add peach schnapps to that, you get a fuzzy navel. Also another 70s drink. We were talking about 70s drinks earlier. I lost my virginity, right? No shit, it was 1980. <sighs> Almost in the 70s. Oh, good times. <laughs> Question number four. LeBron James won his first NBA championship playing for what team? Yes, Evan. First NBA championship. Was it the Cavs? It was not the Cavs. Yes, Rick. Miami. You are correct, the Miami Heat. While he spent most of his time in Cleveland, he won his first two titles with the Heat. Okay, moving on to question five. The TV series, Grey's Anatomy, is primarily set at a fictitious hospital formerly known as... Yes, Rick. Seattle Grace. Well done, are you a Grey's fan? I used to work for ABC. Oh, we did oh. not know that, and there he is. Did you That's even know what that? Is. Well, I've seen the show a few times, okay. but yeah. All right, gentlemen, we are nearing the end of round one. Our score is one Evan, four Rick, and we're ready for our first list question. Here's how it works. Evan, since you are trailing, you are getting to go first, and I am going to give you a question that has five possible answers. You can give me as many of those answers as you know. If you exhaust the category, run out of answers, or give us an incorrect answer, then Rick will get a chance to finish the category. Are you ready? I'm ready. What were the stage names of the five women who comprised the pop group Spice Girls? Ah oh, shit. Again, aw shit was not, it was, there was not <laughs> shit spice. Shit spice, no shit spice. Okay, do you know any of the other spices? 
I, I can't even name one by name. Oh, just guess an adjective. <laughs> oh, let's go with Beyonce. Huh? Beyonce no, was not. not a spice. I know it's not. She was not a spice. That's the spiciest woman I could think of. She Besides is. Besides you, of course. Oh, thank you, Evan. Well played. You cannot flatter me for points. Rick, can you name any of the Spice Girls? Baby. Yes. Sporty. Yes. Posh. Yes. Stinky. You're correct. <laughs> but you did get three points there. You guys were, of course, missing Ginger Spice and Scary Spice. You could see all their underpants. It was. You could see all their underpants. They should have had underpants spice. Underpants. That sounds like a bad condition. Never mind. <laughs> so now we have Rick with seven points. Evan, you still only have one tiny little measly point. You are on the board, and you do still have a chance to take it all home as we enter round two. In the 2004 film Sideways, Paul Giamatti's character defiantly states that he will not drink what variety of wine? A. Burgundy. B. Champagne. C. Merlot. D. Pinot Noir. Yes, Rick. Going Merlot. You are correct. Whoa. That was a total guess. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Question eight. Made famous by Aretha Franklin, the song "Respect" was written by what other singer? A. James Brown. B. Marvin Gaye. C. Otis Redding. Or D. Little Richard. Just go for it, guys. Just go for it. Yes, Rick. James Brown. You are incorrect. Evan, do you want to try James Brown, Marvin Gaye, Otis Redding, Little Richard? Yes, Evan. Otis Redding? You are correct. Whoa. All right. You have two full points. Rick, you have you. eight points. Question number nine. In Roman mythology, who is the god of wine? A, Bacchus, yes? That guy, Bacchus. You are correct. It is that guy, Bacchus. And Bacchus was the god of wine, agriculture, fertility, and the theater. Probably fertility and wine, because once you drink so much wine, you're down to fuck, you know? Unless you get wine dick. What's wine dick? I think I mean, it's I like whiskey deduce. dick, except it takes like three times as much wine. <laughs> <laughs> Question number 10. Who was the first ghost to visit Ebenezer Scrooge in Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol? Yes, Rick. Christmas past. No, no, no actually right. incorrect. It was kind of a trick question. Evan, you get to hear all of the options. Send it through. A, Ghost of Christmas Past, B, Ghost of Christmas Present, C, Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come, or D, Jacob Marley. <laughs> yes. Ghost of Christmas Present? I don't know. You are incorrect. Yeah. You never read it's or... Jacob Mar I, it's I, I, Jacob it's Marley. Jacob Marley. Yeah, it's just, I, I figured about when you did that, but I didn't want to be the dumbass <laughs> to go with the only one that seems like it's not. So you've never seen any of the 87 screen adaptations of A Christmas Carol? I tend to stay away. It's a lovely, timeless classic. I recommend it. Let's move on to question 11. Guitarist Zach Wilde named his heavy metal band, formed in 1998, after what Scotch whiskey? A, Doers, B, Glenn Fittick, C, Johnny Walker Black Label, or D, The McAllen? Yes, Evan? Johnny Walker Black Label. You are correct. Wilde originally wanted to name the band Hell's Kitchen, but couldn't get around copyright issues, so instead he named them the Black Label Society. All right, Evan, you're up to three whole points. Coming One after you. third of Rick's nine, and we get to move on to our final round, where anything could happen. It's anybody's game. We call this the last call to win it all. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to ask each of you your own personalized question. They are similar, but Rick's will be slightly more difficult because he is, in fact, a genius. You can name as many answers as you can think of until you exhaust the category or you name an incorrect answer, in which case we will go to Rick to answer his question. Okay, Evan, you need six to tie and seven to take the lead. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Name as many NFL teams as you can that have not won two or more Super Bowl titles. Cleveland Browns? Yes. Buffalo Bills? Yes. Oh, my friends are going to kill me when I get one wrong. <laughs> and they're going to kick my ass, honestly. You're doing great so far. Um, uh, New York Giants? No. No. <laughs> oh, who's going to, which friend is going to be most disappointed in you? <sighs> my friend Brady. Is it Tom Brady? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, I'm sorry, yes. Well, you played decently, but let's be honest, you're paired against a genius. But 
With five points compared to Rick's nine, you have lost our game. You did Rick, good. Just for fun, do that you want to see if you can answer your question? <laughs> sure. I'm okay, gonna... let's do it. Rick, for the super win, name as many NFL players as you can Ugh. that have been named Super Bowl MVP from Super Bowl 30 to present. All right, your, your guy, Brady. Don't you ever call him my guy. Continue. <laughs> um, Manning. Which Manning? Peyton. Yes. With the giant forehead. Mm-hmm. Um, Tony Dorsett. No. All right. Evan, I'm sure you're a very smart person, but you are not smarter than a drunk person. Rick, you are our champion. Congratulations. Hey. Rick, you get to go home with a bucket of booze. That's right, Allison. Today's winner will be taking home a beautiful bucket of alcohol, including selections from Scotland's Duncan Taylor, Lone Wolf Distilling Company, and Brewdog. Maybe I won't drink it tonight, though. Okay. All right, deal. Great job, gentlemen. Great job, people at home. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Drunk Person?